we're not there, you've reached the rock office. Time to clock in to rock out. I'm your host, Bill Smith. And I'm Kevin Davis. And we got an interesting episode for you today. We have a band from Austin, Texas called Quarter Shackle. They're nice enough to provide me one of their cool t-shirts. And we're going to be talking to them uh, over Skype. We're going to be Skyping them this uh, episode. So we're going to kind of an adventure, kind yeah. of an experiment. Yeah. See how this works. Hopefully if this all works, the tech works and yeah. uh, we get a good connection with them here. If this works good, this might be a... They're something we can do. They're holding now. right now for us. <laughs> so, so yeah. um, hey, well, let's just get right into it then. Let's, so. let's do it. All right. All right. Hey guys, uh, thanks for being on the show. Uh, why don't you introduce yourselves? And I know there's two of you there. Uh, and tell us who's missing. I'm Skunk Manhattan. How's it going? Hey. Uh, my name is Blaine. Uh, hey guys. We have uh, Joe uh, Schlodroff and Chris Farrell in the band, uh, but they're they're not with us today. They're not dead, but oh. you know. <laughs> Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. So tell us about how you guys met and how long you've been together. Uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> you start. I came okay. in later. Uh, yeah, it's been a what, man? Uh, we've been around for like eight, eight years, I think. Wow. Uh, okay. okay. 2005 ish. So, okay. uh, yeah. Um, Joe and I met, um, started jamming. He's a singer. Um, okay. And uh, we went through a couple guitar players until we found uh, Skunk here, and we 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 settled. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, no, and uh, Chris we met Chris about the same time I met Joe. Skunk okay. came in a little later, um, but yeah, we've been doing it for uh, like eight years, man. And uh, we have we have an album to show for it now. Nice. <laughs> cool, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a great album. We uh, love it. I think our fans are gonna like it too. And as a matter of fact, talking a little bit about your guys, your sound, the new album. Uh, here's a clip from the videos uh, off the album they just sent us. So check out a little bit of what they do, and we'll be right back. We are back with uh, Blaine and Skunk from Quarter Shackle on Skype, and uh, their little clip of what they do, some of their sound. And um, so, you guys just released your album, Up from the Ashes. Tell us a little bit about it: uh, writing, producing, recording it. Uh, give us all the good details. Yeah, all right. Uh, 
Me and me and we all wrote the album. Um, me and Skunk have been writing in particular for uh, a long time on different projects. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, but uh, we recorded at Mesa Recording Studios, uh, which is where we're at now, actually. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. New studio in Austin. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it, awesome, awesome studio. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty nice. It's, looks nice. Uh, you know, uh, fully equipped with a place to stay. So we come out here. We'll come out here for you know weeks at a time. What's the guy's name? That uh, the owner of Mesa. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Oh, Rob Hinton. Rob, yeah, Rob, Rob Hinton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's give uh, some love. He's actually oh, he's in the background cough, <laughs> coughing at us right now. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, man, we we like it, like Skunk said, we we live here more or less. Uh, it's sort of our second home. All right, now when you sent us your album, uh, you know we listened to it, and uh, I could pick a couple of. Uh, bands out of the you know the sound that i kind of thought maybe you, you sounded a little bit like uh, I, I caught a little bit of rush there and, and some alice in chains um you know why don't you describe a little bit uh you know the sound that you have on the album and and, and kind of uh, tell some of our, uh, our our viewers really what they can expect when they uh, when they check this out some of your influences maybe yeah, yeah. well i definitely like both those bands um I don't know who uh, we sound like. I mean, uh, you can certainly hear that sort of uh, '90s esque uh -huh. uh, hard rock. I don't, I don't call it grunge, but you know what I mean. Like, I, I think a lot of influence come. We all grew up in that time, so we get a sure. lot of influence from from those bands. Um, mm -hmm. What are some of yours, man? We I run the gambit as far as bands. I mean, this one definitely pulls the early '90s influence, but uh, right. I mean, we 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 listen to everything from death metal to you know jazz i mean cool. so it's as far as interest goes you know we they they kind of run the gamut but uh this, this album you know we like we like to think of it a mix is like a prog sort of a pro proggy kind of like you mentioned like a you know r rush uh, -huh. uh proggy right. sort of grunge right. kind of thing so yeah, yeah not, prog, not, not, prog not grunge that's not, good prog grunge. Yeah. Not, not overly proggy you know, <laughs> okay all right well a new genre is born we got prog grunge prog grunge yeah yeah, frog, frog grunge. Frog New, and its genre is born. That's right. Yeah. Yep. So, all right, we are here. We are Skyping with Blaine and Skunk from the band Quarter Shackle, great band out of Austin, Texas. Uh, like they said, a lot of influences, Rush, Allison Chains, that prog grunge kind of sound. Prog so, grunge, yeah. uh, here's another little clip of what they do, what they sound like, and we're going to be right back.
All right, we are back with uh, guys from Quarter Shackle, Blaine and Skunk. Skunk. We're, yeah. we're Skunk Manhattan. <laughs> uh, we're talking to them over the Skype that we uh, have, the live feed that we have set up. And uh, hey, guys, one question that we ask all of our guests. Uh, it's because it's kind of important to us. And one thing I really appreciate is that you actually sent me a CD. You actually sent us a physical uh, copy of your music. Is the digital versus physical music uh, uh, debate or conversation, whatever you want to call it? Uh, yeah. Like I said, we're big fans of the physical music. What do you guys think about you know digital versus physical? Yeah. Let's let's hear it. Yeah, the digital age is awesome. It's great, <clears throat> but you know I've, I've got white hair and my goatee, so I'm old school. You know, I like. Uh, <laughs> I like albums, physical albums with track listing in order and all that wonderful think, stuff that yeah. they did back in the 60s and 70s and sure. 80s. Yeah. Th think Big of Dark fan. Think of Dark Side of the Moon was a uh, you just heard one so think how less enriched your life would be if you heard one track off of Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's right. it, it's not quite the same thing, right? It, no. You know, it's uh it, 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 we look at an album as a, a mural, and uh, it, and it's it, so it's you know good and bad, man. It's like it, digital. You can own, you know, gigs, eighty, that hundred gigs, of, uh, 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 songs at your got... fingertips. Yeah, it's fucking awesome <laughs> for music fans. Sure, but it, it, in the same in the same breath, you know, people do a lot of one off. It, you know, people want just one song, and people don't you don't experience full entirety of albums right. or in, in mp3 versus waves you know it, uh, it's uh you, 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 you i think people sort of don't realize the sound quality is, is sort of degraded whenever you know even i think they kind of do subconsciously but it's not something uh, i don't know it, they don't consider i it. hate to think that uh we're moving towards mp3s everything mp3s everything oh, mp3s but yeah. part of me is kind of hopeful because the amount of computer storage we have nowadays it's you get people have terabytes that come on their standard home computers. Right. Sure. So I, I, I'm hoping that we're going to go into a push where everything's sort of higher fidelity, higher quality. Because if you have infinite space, then why the hell not, right? Right. Right. Well, you know, that's a good point. I have a terabyte of music on my computer, but they they came from CDs. They came from CDs, right. which I still have. Technically, yes. Yes. So. Um, you know, I, that's a great point. You know, if you yeah. have infinite space, if it, if it's, it's getting easier. It's right. definitely getting easier. Yeah, absolutely. So, but anyway, enough of that nonsense. Where can people go to get your CD or download or find? You know, where can they get some of these cool T-shirts or where? Where's the website? Your album, yeah, album yeah. whatever. Where? Where do you guys want to plug? Where can people go on the internet web and find you guys at? Y'all just come. Uh, Y'all just come knock on Mesa Records yeah. and we'll, we'll <laughs> sure. That's easy. Austin, Texas, here we come. We only have physical copies. We're boycotting Rob's. the internet. <laughs> this is <laughs> <laughs> nice. The internet's great, man. Uh, oh, so uh, you, you can get it. MesaRecords.com. Okay. Uh, MesaRecords.com. Uh, that's your label. Uh, or QuarterShackle.com. Okay. Um, yeah, we're on Bandcamp, yeah. too. Okay. Uh, Bandcamp is great. That's a yeah. cool site. It's a cool site. Place. Yeah, Bandcamp yeah. is... is pretty damn cool it's, it's sort of what myspace used to be all right well i guess there's a lot of things that aren't what they used to be so <laughs> but with that anyway uh hey blaine skunk thanks for taking the time to talking to us down there in austin texas i'm sure the weather is far more superior than what it is uh up here in yeah. cleveland at the moment but <laughs> be that as it may uh once again thanks guys we will uh hopefully catch up the, with you guys down the road sometime cool. yeah, we appreciate your time thanks, guys. yeah awesome all right. Well, there you have it. Quarter Shackle out of Austin, Texas. Great band, like we yeah. said. Kind of a like prog grunge. You prog know, grunge. New, that new genre that we formed on the uh, spot. We there. established today. But uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely some Rush influence yeah. in there. And, and, and probably a little bit more Alice in Chains, you know, than the Rush. Yeah. I really feel that when I, when I listen to that. Right. I, I hear a little like Lane Staley. Sort of, yeah, the you know, feeling with the vocals, and right? Or even, uh, you know, a lot of the Jerry Cantrell kind of guitar, yeah, you know, but that's not to take anything away from either of those bands. No, I mean, absolutely. their timing, the quarter shackles timing, which a lot of their signatures kind of remind me of a rush, and like you know, they said very influential to them, sure, so sure. Anyway, uh, check those guys out, quartershackle.com. Order their album. I, I know you won't be disappointed. No. Um, check us out, rockoffice.com. Get some of our merch. Uh, help support what we do. Uh, check out some of the articles, the photos this guy shoots, some of our crew shoots on our different adventures out. Yeah. And uh, you can check out some of my reviews. Album reviews, yeah. And uh, 
Also, make sure you like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash rockoffice. We're on Twitter at the underscore rock underscore office. Kevin. Also, make sure that you, uh, you know, continue to show us love. Share everything out there. Uh, if you haven't already, click that like button. Uh, you know, ask uh, ask those that you share with to click the like button because only by clicking that like button and getting everything out there and shared do we get the opportunities that we have to be able to talk to, you know, people like uh, – uh, these guys out of Austin, Texas, or right. even some of the other, uh, you know, uh, interviews that we've been lucky enough to be able to have uh, in person. You know, unfortunately, it always, you know, doesn't always uh, sync up to where we can have them live. But we we, we have the support from you guys uh, to be able to do what we do, and, and we certainly appreciate it. Awesome, yeah, awesome. So remember, support your local independent record stores by buying the physical copies of music, so the digital download. We'll see you next time on The Rock Office. Take care. God bless.